Hey guys, welcome back to another Caleb's Aquatics video. Um, in today's video, we're getting a brand new shipment of different types of fish. If you hear a kind of a weird thing on me, it's actually got my braces off. So now I have a retainer. It's giving me this weird like lisp. I don't know. Things I gotta work around. That's all right. But we are gonna be unboxing a new fish order I got in, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, and let's roll the video. All right, everyone. Our box of fish are here. Let me get the first thing off my chest. I got some lids over here, so it's kind of a disaster in here currently. Um, but the box of fish are here. It's only this time. It's only one box. I didn't do a huge order this time. Um, but some pretty unique things inside this box here. But let's go ahead and get right into it. All right. So I just got my trusty little razor blade here. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut on the top of the box. Pretty self-explanatory. There's that. All right. There's this, and there is my receipt right on top here. I'm not gonna show you that, because that shows my address on the thing, but I'm gonna move that to the side. Um, and fold over these box here. All right, let's open it on up. We have the first styrofoam insulator, and right on top we see tons of different fish, tons of different things currently. I'm gonna start off with my kind of reptiles I got. Um, so the first thing I got is I ordered a tarantula, specific, a striped knee tarantula. Um, let me try to give you guys a better look at this tarantula here. So here is the tarantula. It is very cool looking. You cannot get a great look at this. Let me try to get you a better look. Look at that tarantula. That thing is crazy. But look at that tarantula, guys. It's crazy looking inside. It has like stripes on it that's that's why it's called a striped knee tarantula but a crazy cool tarantula i'm gonna go ahead and set this to the side next thing we got is a box um it's most likely my leopard gecko that i ordered yep it is holy moly that is a big leopard gecko look at this they get my leopard gecko i got i ordered an adult male leopard gecko so look at that leopard gecko that's a big leopard gecko holy moly Look at that. Super cool leopard gecko there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set him to the side, and he's going to be going into one of my enclosures also. Um, but I forgot to mention that tarantula was for a customer. Um, this leopard gecko is for me. All right, if we keep on going, we just got some first thing here. Not exciting, but a whole big bag of rubber bands for bagging up fish and stuff. We can move that to the side. All right, if we get to the next thing I got here, um, I have a whole bunch of plecos. These are just small, common, small 10 common plecos here. Um, just little black blobs almost in the bag here currently. I'm going to go ahead and set these to the side also. If we get into here, we have, these are two German blue rams, I believe. Uh, let me try to get you the best look as I can. Uh, but these are for a customer. Um, it's very hard to see these. I can barely even see them through the blue bags. Um, but two German blue rams. I also ordered two electric blue um, rams. It's very hard to see. Um, I will try to get you a better look with like maybe my iPhone. Maybe that can get a better look than my camera. I don't know exactly. Um, but just two German blue electric rams. All right, so we'll go ahead and set these to the side also. Um, those are for a customer. Uh, then we have two electric blue rams. These are also for a customer. Very hard to see. You can just see two little black fish moving around in there. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna currently start grabbing some of these tanks and just put them to the side. They are a little cold, so I just wanna get these guys kind of warmed up here. I just wanna get these guys up to temperature, so I'm just gonna put these to the side just to one of my fish tanks, just to get them warm enough, because they are getting kind of cold. Um, but next thing we got in the box here is just a whole big bag of fish bags. So these are, I think, I think these are eight by 17, so big fish bags. Um, for different fish, things like that. Then, on um, fish bag topic, we have smaller ones. These are the 4x12. Um, I was running out of these, so I ordered some more of those while I was there. Um, next thing, we, we got some plants for one of my customers. Um, my customer wanted all these plants. So these are uh, Nubius, I believe. Um, but here are the Nubius. I got four of them. So these are all for a customer as well. Just a big bag plants of Anubius plants. Um, those are for a customer as well. Um, the next thing we got in here, I all right, these are my 10 Fantail Cherry Barbs. Um, these were for also for a customer. I can do a little better look here with my iPhone here. 
All right, so there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and fold these guys just like the other fish there. Um, the very last thing, probably the thing I'm most excited for. I ordered a marble gar. Holy moly, guys. A marble gar. It's crazy looking. It's very hard to get a, be a good picture um, on camera. So all right, everyone, that is the very last thing inside of here. Um, I did order a um, like, uh, red-eared slider. I never did come in. They must have been out of stock on that currently. But in my next order, I will definitely get some more things. I was just experimenting. Um, I've never had a large leopard gecko before. So uh, it's going to be super fun to have a large one. Sorry about my hair. I did not do my hair today. That's all right, though. Um, but if you guys missed my reptile room tour, go check it out on the iCard. One of these iCards, I have no clue. I, I always get it wrong every time. I'll put it on this corner, and it's actually the other corner every time. Um, go check those things out. Um, and if you guys want to check out any other unboxing that I've done, you can go to the other iCards, too. They'll also be there. Um, you can also check on the end screen of this video and check out more um, unboxing videos. I also will leave a link to the playlist of unboxing videos in the link of the description. So go check those things out as well, also. But now I'm gonna go ahead and get all the animals into their cages. Um, like my leopard gecko is gonna go upstairs in my bedroom where all my um, reptiles are. Um, I'm gonna get all my other things in the tanks. I got, I cleaned up, um, this is actually water change day. So you can see this tank's not even halfway full cause I was actually draining it and then the fish came in. So I just dropped everything and um, unboxed this video for you guys here. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting fish into the tanks and then we'll be set to go. First thing I gotta do though, is I gotta get this box out of here. There we go. All right, first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we are going to get my marble gar. But what I'm gonna do here is first get my gar into this tank right beside it. It is only a 20 gallon currently, uh, it's just for quarantine. Um, and then once the quarantine's over, it's gonna go to 55 and then so on, because I do know they get up to about two, two feet. Um, so they'll eventually go to my 125 and then to like a 250 or something like that eventually for long term. But it's going on a 20 gallon just to quarantine to make sure everything's okay. Um, no ick so that I don't have to quarantine in like a 55 gallon which would be such a big pain in my butt. But I'm going to go ahead and grab this and go ahead. The, the 20 gallon tank's actually right over here so let me show you this. Alright here is actually the 20 gallon tank. I'm going to go ahead and remove the lid off there and just hopefully barely squeeze this fish in. I got to actually take the lid off like all the way. There we go, the fish is in. Um, I can try to give you guys a better look here. So you guys can see the gar, it's kind of hard to see with the lighting, but you can see the gar, it's, I would say it's probably about an eight inch. Not huge gar currently. You can see all the patterns on it, it's super cool gar. Um, and these are where I am currently, um, corn, like just getting the temperature for the customer. Um, I have the electric blues there and then the rasboras. And then here's all my other stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this aside for the customer. Um, these two bags here um, and all this, I'm gonna go ahead and put away and have my bagging up station. And then we're gonna get these um, 10 plecos into a tank, the tarantula for a customer, and the leopard gecko will be going upstairs. So speaking of that, let's go ahead and bring this leopard gecko upstairs into this tank. All right, we are currently in my bedroom, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this leopard gecko in this 20 gallon long that it's all set up for him. But I'm gonna go ahead and first take off the lid here. And then we are going to get the leopard gecko in this tank. I just cleaned the tank all yesterday. Got everything all looking good. I had water. It has a heat mat in the corner with the temperature on the side there. I have its humid hide. Everything's good for him. So we'll go ahead and grab the leopard gecko and put him inside. All right, got the top box open. I have no idea if this leopard gecko is friendly or not. So I'm not even gonna risk trying to get bit by this thing. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put the box inside here. And then Get it out here. Come on. Go out. There we go. The leopard gecko is in. We can go ahead and put the top back on. You can see the leopard gecko is taking its first steps all around exploring. It's actually a quite large compared to my leopard geckos. Um, the one I have here um, and the other one I have here. There, this one is like extreme bigger. Um, it has a little hiding cage in there. This is just an old um, hamster thing. I have another hut over there with the warm side, another hut with the humidity side. So we're gonna go ahead and let this leopard gecko um, settle in first here. Um, but let's go ahead and get all the other animals inside of their tanks also. All right, everyone, the acclimation has been done for this gar, so we're gonna go ahead and get this gar out and into the tank. Oops. 
And there we are, guys. The gar is actually in. You can see a much better look at actually what the gar looks like. Um, but everything's looking good. We got all we have left over are these plecos over here. Um, and everything else goes to other people. I'm probably just going to put these plecos in this tank. That goes to a customer also. But that's pretty much everything. It was not a huge order for myself. All right, everyone. We're going to go ahead and grab out these plecos and go ahead and get them in the tank. And Make sure you look through the bag one more time, make sure there's nothing left over. That's everything. And now all the plecos are in. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, all those good things. Make sure you have the notification bell on so you guys are notified when I post new videos like this, unboxing videos, or if I do shop updates, guys. Things are coming big. We're working on tons of different things, guys. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, guys. And I will catch you on my next video. Hope videos should be coming out at least once a week, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Peace out.